In this example, we're going to show why you would almost never want to use Edit Curve to try and recreate and modify an airfoil in OpenBSP. And you can wrap your head around this concept because airfoils are very well-defined geometries that unless you're following the mathematical definition or the empirically validated shape, you're not necessarily going to get the same behavior. Things like high fidelity CFD codes in particular will be very sensitive to any deviation in the surface. So again, similar to our fuselage example that we did, the interior surface here is in red and our converted surface is in green. So any deviations are going to show up as a red patch. So let's come on back to our root and take a look at what happens if we convert a NACA 4 series. And when we force that update, you can see that there is a region here where it's kind of dipping in and coming back out. But because it's kind of flashing back and forth between these two surfaces, that's indicating that it's very, very close, but it's not exact. So we have missed something here. And technically we've changed the way that that airfoil will behave. If we come to a six series, and do the same thing and force that update, it's readily apparent that an edit curve with a handful of points here is not going to accurately capture something as complex as an ACA 6 series. It's diving in and out, in and out, in and out. Does the same thing down on the lower surface if we take a look down here. And so this is a demonstration as to why you shouldn't use an edit curve to try and capture airfoils. The, the difference here in particular is that we're not converting, say, a NACA airfoil to a CST or a class shape transformation of nth degree. That's a different topic altogether. This is edit curve. So if you want to start with something that looks kind of like an airfoil and then modify it, um, say if you're trying to make a, a fairing or something like that, sure, knock yourself out. That's perfectly fine. But don't expect the edit curve profile to behave in some cases, anything like what the true airfoil definition is. An exception to this is, say, a wedge airfoil or a biconvex or something that's relatively simple to define. And so a wedge is just a series of straight sides where we can convert that. It comes in as a Bezier curve, but we know better. We're going to make it linear. And so here we notice that this has exactly recaptured that wedge. And so for whatever reason, if you wanted to come in and adjust these points rather than using the parameterized version of uh, a wedge airfoil, you could certainly do that. And so this is one of the few cases where trying to use edit curve on something like a wedge to recreate a specific geometric shape uh, would be acceptable. But in most cases, the guidance is avoid trying to make airfoils with edit curve at all costs.